Paris Hilton and her husband Carter Reem started the year 2023 in the right way and as a surprise to all. The heiress and woman of many hats is now also a mom for the first time, announcing that she and Carter welcomed a newborn son via Instagram. Paris likely already set up a dreamy nursery at her Los Angeles mansion for her baby boy and it's definitely going to be impressive to match the rest of the place. She purchased her longtime mansion in the guard-gated Mulholland Estates area Area back in 2007. And in recent years, Paris has given the property a full facelift, showing off the renovations on YouTube. We've also seen her multi million dollar crib on her reality show, Paris in Love, which offers 7,000 square feet of space and amazing highlights like a dream dressing room and even a doggy mansion. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Paris Hilton maintains her longtime mansion located in Beverly Hills. Back in 2007, she purchased this stunning mansion in the celeb-favored, guard-gated community of Mulholland Estates for $5.9 million. We've gotten plenty of glimpses of the estate not only on Paris's Instagram and YouTube, but also on her reality series Paris in Love. The Mediterranean-style mansion was built back in 1991 and spans about 7,000 square feet of space with five beds and 5.5 baths. Meanwhile, the grounds surrounding the home span about an acre. There is a gorgeous two-story entryway with a winding staircase where Paris often poses for photos. Other features of her mansion include living rooms, a large family room with wet bar, office, gourmet kitchen and breakfast room, butler's pantry, wine closet and more. It also came complete with a full gym, but word was that Paris transformed that into a shoe closet instead. Now with baby number one's arrival, I'm sure that Paris and Carter have set up a stunning nursery for their son. They just haven't shown it off yet. Considering how luxurious Paris is, many adorable dogs are living like, we can only imagine how stylish the new baby's room is gonna be. Paris also has a custom screening room, which she claimed is one of her favorite spots in the house. Another cool bonus lies in this room of the home, which she explained, I built one of those hidden escape doors that looks like like a bookshelf. It leads to a huge showroom for all my products. It's kind of like a secret office. Oh my god, there's the coolest door right here. You know in movies when they have like a fake kind of like library? Well, this room is decorated in a French Victorian vibe like much of the rest of the home was. And there's a 120 inch screen, photo booth, pink pool table and more. Meanwhile, up a small flight of stairs in here, there's also Club Paris, her very own nightclub upstairs with everything from smoke machines to a dancing pole to a DJ booth. Because Paris is also a DJ, as you probably know. In 2020, Paris revealed her major home renovation that was was going on and we could see that she stripped all of the interiors down to make way for a brand new look. She gutted the whole mansion and she decided to switch things up completely. Paris even has a glam room where she can easily get ready for events or a night out with Carter. Elsewhere in the mansion, Paris's master suite has a glamorous bath attached as well as a private balcony with city views and the star modified the home to fit two decked out closets the size of an apartment or bigger, not to mention a dressing room attached to the master bath as well. Moving to the grounds of Paris's main residence, there's a sparkling pool and spa with an attached grotto along with her famed doggy mansion. This is a feature I actually need in my life, but I don't have as many dogs as her. I need it for my two dogs. In 2009, Paris purchased this doggy mansion and paid $325,000 for it. But we all know that she loves dogs just like me and always has a handful of pets living with her. The upscale dog dog house for her Hilton pet boasts 300 square feet of living space with built-in air conditioning controlled from the outside to protect the dogs from the LA heat. There's also heating of course for when it cools down. Her dog's mansion is Spanish colonial style with two levels and the second floor has a balcony where the pups can catch a beautiful view. Inside there are bright pink walls, a black wrought iron lined railings and even a chandelier. Day beds, bean bags and dog beds are all around the house for the pups to relax on. Outside there's a cute fenced in turf lawn while the large front door welcomes the pups 
with a golden fire hydrant. That isn't the only house Paris owns though. In August 2021, it was reported that everyone's favorite hotel heiress turned a girl turned businesswoman snagged a beachfront home for $8.4 million, which is perfect for when she, Carter, and now their new baby want to escape Beverly Hills for a more laid back vibe. Located on Lacoste Beach, Paris's new getaway in Malibu is a prime spot and right on the water. Records show the Malibu house was built back in 1955, but it seems to have underwent a huge huge renovation sometime in the 90s. While it's contemporary in style, the interiors also kind of have a vintage feel, with salmon colored tiles and rounded granite counters in the kitchen, just to name a few details. Paris's Malibu love nest spans 2,968 square feet of space with three beds and three baths throughout. In fact, Miss Hilton already teased a promo video for her series Cooking with Paris in this very kitchen. And I mean, if she doesn't feel like cooking, she She's only a short five minute drive from the longtime trendy restaurant Nobu Malibu. While Paris and Carter's crib is right on top of the Pacific Coast Highway, the modern home is nicely hidden behind a dark blue wall along with cameras and a security system. Before walking in, there's also a simply landscaped courtyard and the exterior is a solid white color while inside tile floors grace the open concept living area and dining room. As you may expect from a beachfront home, there are full walls of glass everywhere, take in the stunning ocean views. Aside from the walls of windows, the open living room boasts a fireplace to warm things up when it gets chilly, and there's also a flat screen TV as well as a bar to one side. On the opposite wall, you'll find the dining area. The main living space also has a spacious concrete deck outside with room for an outdoor eating area or just to relax. Paris is probably already cooking up a storm in this slightly vintage 90s meets early 2000s aesthetic kitchen. Here there are rounded granite countertops with a ton of meal prep space as well as top of the line stainless steel appliances. This staircase is built with salmon colored tiles which I think matches the vintage beach house vibe perfectly. And upstairs is where you'll find the home's three bedrooms. Paris and Carter's Ocean View Master Retreat offers hardwood flooring, its own private balcony as well as a cozy fireplace and mounted TV above. The luxury attached bath might be slightly dated, but it's surely still stylish. There are some retro colored marble, a built-in soaking tub, glass shower, as well as double vanities. Outside the home, stairs from the patio lead to La Costa Beach, and on Paris's property, some other add-ons include an outdoor shower, jacuzzi, and a two-car garage. Now that we've checked out Paris Hilton's homes in Beverly Hills and Malibu, I think we'll bring today's house tour to a close. But before you go, answer me this. If money and resources Resources weren't an issue. Would you prefer to go the surrogate route like Paris when having a baby and like so many other celebrities do? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below or what you liked about Paris's homes. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!